I'm Jolene and I'm so stoked to be here because I am so keen to help you master Cricut Design Space. I know that Cricut Design Space can be a little bit of a minefield because we've never seen software like that before. If you're brand new to Cricut, I bet you've gone in there and you've just given up before you've even started. So this whole series is to break down Cricut Design Space into tiny little tutorials so that you can get to know Cricut Design Space in a really truly easy way. So to accompany this video series though, I have a book. And this is actually where the whole idea came from because I made this book for people who are struggling with Cricut Design Space. Actually, I made it for myself too because I use this book. So this book is a Cricut Design Space book that is completely full of beautiful tutorial sheets that will show you how to do absolutely everything and anything in Cricut Design Space. So in actual fact, like if you have a look at this, there are so many pages that there's about, oh, I don't know, 80 different tutorials for PC desktop users that we can go through and I can show you. What I wanted to do just before I get started into these little tiny little videos is just to show you an example of what you could get inside of this book. So this is one single tutorial sheet that is made for desktop users. This book has actually got a section for iOS and Android as well. It is a whopper of a book. It is such a bargain to grab. So if you're keen, this book is available for sale on our site and you can find the link in the description below. Now, in saying that, what I recommend though, is that you grab this book, you watch the video tutorials, but then when you have that day when you're crafting and you're like, oh my gosh, I cannot remember how to slice something, instead of getting back onto Google and getting lost in the big wide web and trying to find my video, which might be a bit hard to do, instead of that, why not just pull out your book? Go to your index. We've got a beautiful comprehensive index at the start of the book. Find the slice tutorial and just go and follow along with the step by step tutorials. So that's how I would do it. I would watch the videos, but then next time around when I want to use that idea, I would just grab my book that's always in my drawer and I would use that. So let's hop straight into these videos and leave me some feedback if you love them so that I can keep creating more of these sorts of videos. All right. Welcome, welcome to day one of our Cricut Design Space tutorial series. Now, where else do we begin but right at the beginning? I'm Jolene and I'm going to walk you through how to find Cricut Design Space so that you can download it, how to install it, and this whole tutorial is going to be on a PC. So if you know your Mac really, really well, you probably can follow along just fine. However, if you're still new to Mac, then I suggest you find a video that's designed for Mac users. So first of all, I have got the beautiful complete guide to Cricut Design Space. And I am literally just making videos of the pages in the book. So today we're looking at, guess what? Page number one. So page number one says that we need to go to this web address. So type in design.cricket.com into your browser. And here it's going to take us straight to Cricut Design Space. So it's really, truly so simple. Once you know from where to download your Cricut Design Space, here it says this one's for Windows, and I am going to click on Download. So of course you'll see your little download happening in the bottom bar. So you can see how the progress is going. And this is going to be our little, um, what is it called, EXE folder in order to be able to execute the process of installing the software. So it's very, very quick, very simple, and it's nearly there and then we can install. So if you're on a Mac, at this point you would just see a Mac download, which you might be familiar with. Okay, so next up, obviously, all you have to do is to click on this little EXE file that's downloaded at the bottom. So I'm just clicking on that, and it's going to automatically start installing the Cricut Design Space. So it's really, really, truly easy. I know, though, how valuable it is to see something happening in front of you on a video. I'm 100% a video girl, which is why I'm making these videos, um, because I like watching the things on video, 
But then I really love my book that's printed out so that when I need to go back to that tutorial, I don't have to go and find that video again, but at that point I've got the sheets with the step-by-step -step instructions. So that's how I actually like going about it. So we've got two different options here. We're going to click on this and here it's given me two options. I can either set up a heat press or I can set up a smart cutting machine. So I'm going to go with the smart cutting machine and now you pick which one you have. I have all three of those. I'm a very, very lucky girl, but I've just dragged my Cricut Maker upstairs to where I'm recording. So I'm going to click on that one. So here you've got the create a Cricut ID that you might have had access to quickly or the same steps as me. You're going to pop in your first name in here. My name is Jolene. My surname is Amont. I'm in Australia. You're going to agree to the terms and con conditions, of course. If you like getting newsletters, click this box. I am not a fan of getting loads of newsletters, so I'm going to leave that un unclicked. And then in here, what we want to do is to pop an email address. I'm going to pop something different in here to what I normally use to sign in with, because obviously, if I try and sign up for something I already have, it won't work. Then you just need to pick a password. And it's as easy as that. So now you can go ahead and you can create a Cricut ID. So let's see, I might have used this email address before to do a demonstration, so let's see if it works. <laughs> so we've got to accept their updated policies, you know, all the legal stuff they have to do. Now it tells you exactly what you need to do to set up your machine. So with the Cricut machine, your mat actually goes into the front. So in this instance, this is the front of the machine. And if you put a cutting mat in, it's actually going to go into the front. But the machine works by taking the machine out at the back and then bringing it back in again. It looks like uh, maybe potentially might have already tried to set up on this account. But let's see what happens if we keep, keep going. So you can't put the machine right next to the wall. That's what this is saying, because otherwise there's no way for the mat to go when it comes out of the back. So make sure that you have some space in between your machine and the wall. They recommend about 10 inches or think about a ruler's length to try and keep it away from. Now you've got a few different images here. It also shows you how to plug in your machine and it also shows you um, how to power it up. So, I mean, this is the USB cord, sorry. Um, so we've actually got, if you don't know, a Cricut Maker beginner course where I will show you exactly how to set it up. I will show you where to plug what in. I will show you which buttons to push. I literally walk you through from unboxing the machine all the way through your first five products, um, your projects. I think I'm spitting out the words all wrong today. So we've got a course for Cricut Maker and Cricut Explorer Air 2 users. It's very affordable and people absolutely rave about the easy step-by-step -step system of how to go about setting up their machines. Um, of course, there's loads of free videos on YouTube. The point is that if you go to YouTube, you don't know which video you should be watching first. So you don't know if that project that you're trying to, um, that you're looking at is perfect for somebody that's absolutely never made anything else before. Where my course has been designed for a beginner I talk at the pace of a beginner. I use language that a beginner can understand. And I take you from incredibly super duper easy product projects um, all the way to a bit more complicated ones. So that's all I'm going to say about it because I, I don't want to sit here and try and sell my course. But I just wanted to let you know if that would be helpful to you, it's there and it's available for you. Otherwise, of course, just keep going with me and let's get this all set up. So here we need to choose our... Cricut Maker. So this is how mine comes up. Mine has got, obviously all the makers has got Bluetooth attached. So I'm just going to click on that. Now you're going to see that it's thinking, 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 and nothing's happening. And the reason why nothing is happening is because my machine is not switched on. So let me switch this machine on. So remember, you should have the power cord plugged in and you should have the USB cord plugged into your maker and plugged into your desktop as well. Now, if you're on a Mac, you might need one of those really cool little adapters in order to be able to do that. 
but PC users, you should all have a USB port on your desktops. So click on continue. So now that my machine is on, it's connected. First of all, it's going to check for updates, which is awesome. It does it automatically. Mine's actually got an update, even though I use it very often. So that's really cool. I'm just going to click on this and it's done already. Click on next again, it says success. They automatically register your machine for you on your behalf. So you don't have to do anything there, which is really cool. Then click on next. And now you're going to come up with your offer. So if you've just bought your machine and you've never used Cricut Design Space before, then you can get a free one month, one month Cricut access trial. Your trial is honestly to me 100% worth it because there's projects that's already been created in Cricut Design Space that keeps life super simple for a beginner. Um, you do not have to, just because you sign up for the one month trial, stay subscribed. So you can set a little reminder on your phone to make sure that you go and cancel your subscription before your month runs out and just give it a try. So you get access to hundreds of thousands of images, hundreds of fonts. There's loads of projects that you can do. I personally do have access, um, but if you find that you don't craft very often, it might not be worth it for you. So I'm not going to go in this too much because we're actually going to do a separate video that's going to look at this. Um, so let's just keep moving on. So you need to decide whether you would like to have that free trial or whether you don't want to have the free trial. And then it also lets you know what the price is. Now, I'm in Australia, so I'm not too sure. I think for Americans, it might be $9.99. Um, so your price might be different. So don't let that confuse you. It's just that I'm in a um, different currency. And so select which one you would like to do here. All right, so I've selected that I would like to try out the Cricut Access. Um, and now you can fill out your information here. So you've got to put in your address, your country, your state and your credit card information, but they will not charge you for that first month. You don't have to be scared about it, but you do need to rem remind yourself to cancel before it auto renews next month. So go ahead and do that. Now keep in mind that Cricut Access is not available for absolutely all the countries in the world. So if you can't sign up, that's probably what the problem is. If you're in America, Australia, Canada, I'm pretty sure it's UK, you should be perfectly fine to sign up. So go ahead and do that and click on this confirm button. I'm going to skip over this page because obviously I don't want to give you my credit card information and I'll meet you on the next page. Right, so then what we can do is to do our first test cut. Now this is quite fun if you're brand new to Cricut because it gives you a very quick tutorial and a very quick overview about how to go and cut your, um, use your machine, sorry. You can, however, if you're very impatient and you just want to get stuck into it, you can use the skip button here and completely skip over these steps as well. Otherwise, they give you the choice of picking whichever image you would like here and then actually go in about cutting it out. So it will show you how to prepare for your cut, how to plop your, your cardstock onto your mat, how to pop the mat into the machine, um, and how to actually load blades, and all of that sort of stuff. Now, as you can see, these pictures are handy, but they're not necessarily the most helpful, um, which is my, where my course comes in if you need that. Otherwise, find some videos on this because I'm not going to go into how to use your machine in this series. This series is all about the software. So I'm not gonna take you through that this time around. But go ahead and follow through the steps if you wish and make that first cut um, so that you can get to know your machine. Right, so then once you've done that, you're going to get to what we call your home screen in Cricut Design Space. And there's a lot of different buttons. You can see that you can already have a look at some of the projects that's already there designed for you to follow along with. These are really, really handy because all you do is you click on them. It's going to give you an idea of what you're going to create. And then it's going to also tell you, is this an easy project for beginners? How long will it take you? It gives you the materials that you need to buy in order to be able to follow along, what sort of supplies and materials you need. And it gives you very brief step-by-steps. I often wish that these were a little bit more detailed and came with photos, but it's still a lot easier to start off with projects than just trying to go at it alone. 
So I'm going to love and leave you at this point of this video because we have got videos for absolutely every single little thing of Cricut Design Space. So if you've enjoyed this video, keep going because I really do cover absolutely everything um, that's on Cricut Design Space and all of those tutorials that's in our incredibly massive Cricut Design Space tutorial style book. So I will see you in the next video where we are going to talk all about how to connect your machine via Bluetooth. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.